B-Link just sent me their latest device. They shipped it Thursday, and I received it today, Monday, right around noontime. So I'll go ahead and open it up and show you what we got. This is how it's packaged, and they shipped it by DHL. The packaging is first class. P-Link never stops amazing me with their innovations. This is one of the first mini PCs that they have added the AMD Ryzen CPU processor. I've been building computers for about probably about 20, 25 years, and I've always used the AMDs. Now this one, the Ryzen, that's the newest CPU, and they've incorporated it into this mini PC. Now it's got a power button, DC jack, mic hole, HDMI port, display port, uh, CMOS button, clear button, uh, RJ LAN port, two of those LAN ports, USB, six USB three ports. This thing has got everything, and it uses a 19 volt at three amps, so that's 57 watts. So that's a fairly low powered mini computer. Here's the top of the box, and it shows you the content of what's in it. This particular box that they sent me free of charge to do a review, it comes with a 16 gigabit memory, uh, 512 gig of storage, and a one terabyte hard drive. So that's what's in this box. Here's the front of the box. Now this one uses the Wi-Fi 6, the newest uh, innovation of Wi-Fi. It's got a little pull tab here that you pull on it. And it pulls right out like a drawer. So here's everything that's in this box. Now here is the device itself. A B-Link Ryzen and Radon graphics card. And that is the thumbprint reader. Here's the front ports. We've got two USB 3 power, clear the CMOS, microphone, excuse me, yeah, yeah, microphone there, headphone, vent holes here, ventilation holes here. Now this device has two fans, two large fans in there, so they will be very quiet. Again, this has got two LAN ports on it, HDMI, uh, DP, that's, uh, uh, I forget what it is, and HDMI and four more USB 3 ports. This is amazing. Oh, DP, display port. I was having a memory loss there. And more ventilation holes. And here's the bottom of it. Now this is extremely heavy, relatively, and uh, it's machined. This is a machined alloy. So very nice case, extremely nice case. And it should keep it very warm with those two fans. So that's what it looks like. Here's the manual, and it comes with uh, seven different languages, but it's just a minor little manual. Tells you how to hook it up. Contents. Basic operation, buttons and ports. So that's the manual. Here's the instructions on a hard drive installation. DD4 memory installation, uh, SSD card installation, and a two and a half inch HDD installation. So you can install several different items on this. So that's the instructions on that. Deep in the bowels of the box is the accessory kit. So we're going ahead and open that up. Okay, that's the accessories. Here is the power supply with the American uh, plug, so that's for the USA. Here is a mounting bracket to mount to the back of a monitor or to the wall. Uh, a great device to mount directly to the back of your monitor or TV. One short HDMI cable. Now this is to be used if you mount the box to your monitor. Here's a longer HDMI cable in case you need that to go to a a different location. Okay, here's the packet of different screws that you'll need to attach the uh, bracket to the TV and if you want to attach the hard drives or extra SSD into your box. That's the hard drive for that. Now here is really a attention to detail. They've added a USB drive 
that has the operating system. This has got the OS disk, disk, I'm sure that's a Windows disk, 16 gigabit car stick. So I guess that's what it's got only, but that's the first device I've seen that came with an operating system on a pin drive. So that's excellent. Okay, that's done. Now let's go crank it up and see what it does. Okay, it does not come with an operating system installed. So the little pin drive, you put that in one of the USB ports. Then you hit F7, and you come to this menu, then you pick the, uh, the uh, USB disk. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, it gives me several options. I have to put, pick number 0, 1, or 2. Now the 0 is the hard drive, and the number 1 is the uh, 500 gigabit internal storage. So I think I'm going to pick that one, but the only thing is it says free 0 bytes. So... I'm not sure about that, so I'm going to go ahead and pick one anyway. Okay, it appears to be working. I wanted it on that uh, 500 uh, internal uh, memory, not on the uh, hard drive. So I think that's working. What it's doing now, it's installing the Windows 10 operating system on that internal storage of 512 uh, gigabit of memory. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one mean machine. The manufacturer is AZW, model GTR, and then its processor is an AMD Ryzen 5 3550H with Radon Vega. This is one mean machine. Since there was no operating system, I had to use that pen drive as I showed you. Uh, I was able to get it onto this 512 gigabyte uh, RAM that it had and not on the uh, uh, external hard drive or internal hard drive. Anyway, it had a one terabyte drive and it busted it up into two, two separate pieces and it did that and I did not do that. So that's good. You got data and you got the driver. I just ran a test using user benchmark to see how it tested. Gaming 21%, desktop 86%, and a workstation 60%. PC status. Overall, this PC is performing above expectations, 78th percentile. Processor with a good single core, score core, whatever, single core score, this CPU can easily handle majority of general computing tasks. Graphics. 12% is very low for 3D. This GPU can only handle very basic 3D games, but it is fine for general computing tasks. Boot drive, 200% is an exceptional SSD score, so the boot drive is very fast. Memory, 16 gigabit is enough RAM. Windows 10. Benchmark 63.4. The graphics is kind of poor, but what do you expect from a little mini PC? The SSD is super fast, really, really fast. And the one terabyte drive is 69%, which is good. And the uh, Internal memory is 16 gigabyte, is six and a half, 65 percent. So that's not too bad. We can live with that. Just give you a little overview using CPU Z. It's an AMD Ryzen 5 Mobile 3550H, and it's using a Radon Vega Mobile graphics card. These are all the instructions, core speed. Okay, caches, main board, American Megatrends BIOS. The date on that is June the 28th, so that was uh, less than a month ago. Memory, DDR4. DDR4, 1330 megahertz, 8 gigabyte. There's the settings on it. 
Go to slot one, same thing. Graphics. It's an AMD Radeon Vega 8 graphics. And there's the core speed, clock speed. So I just wanted to give you a little overview of that. Well, that's all well and good, but what can this device do? Is it a media player? Is it a computer machine, a business machine? Or is it a gaming machine? What can it do? Well, we're going to have to find out. So we'll start out and see how it is as a media player. And then we'll find out how it is as a business machine. And then we'll find out as a gaming machine. So that's what we're going to find out right now.